So today we were announcing a new strategic investment in brain cancer research. Um, we feel it's, a, it's the right time to make a big investment in this area. It's a cancer of unmet need um, where survival rates remain low, 14% like on average for 10 year survival. Um, and have been sort of stuck at that level for, for a generation really. So we really feel it's important that you know, uh, we commit some new research funding to this area. So today we're announcing a £25 million investment in uh, brain cancer research. Um, and that will include a call for international collaborations um, in discovery science to really try to understand what's going on in brain cancer um, and also in clinical research as well. Um, We've also announced two cent uh, centres of excellence. Um, so we have a, announced a paediatric brain cancer centre of excellence based between Cambridge and uh, Institute of Cancer Research um, in London um, and an adult brain cancer research centre which is based between Edinburgh and uh, University College London. Yes, yeah, so we brought together an international panel um, just over a year ago to really help us think about what are the critical questions that need to be answered in brain cancer research, um, which if we were able to do that would really kind of unlock different sorts of thinking, would allow us to expose sort of new sort of vulnerabilities of, of brain cancers and really start to try and develop new therapeutic approaches because there have been very few of those over the, over the years. So that panel helped us come up with um, a series of questions. Um, we are framing the sort of research call around those, but we are saying to researchers, if you've got other ideas as well, bring those forward, we'll look at those. Um, so some of the themes are, are really trying to understand um, more about the sort of uh, genetic uh, underpinning uh, basis for brain cancer. We're trying to look at the, the, the sort of microenvironment around uh, brain tumours, really to try and understand what role the immune system can play. Um, both in terms of the development of the disease, but then also the sort of therapeutic approaches that we could take as well. We'd like to understand a little bit more around the differences between adult brain tumours and children's brain tumours. Um, they're obviously very different. We'd like to understand what are the different drivers there, um, and in doing so, really try and expose new vulnerabilities to, um, to target the particular tumours with new treatments. I think, well, I mean, one of the one of the issues is from a research perspective, um, it's been a very hard area to sort of undertake research. Um, so a lot of research is based on the samples that we can take from patients. Uh, obviously, in the brain, um, it's much more difficult to take uh, biopsies from uh, brain cancer patients for obvious reasons, um, and that makes it very difficult then to take that into the lab and really start to dissect and understand what's going on. Um, but with new sort of approaches that are coming out all of the time, with uh, new cell lines, new organoids, um, you know, we'll be in a position to be, really be able to sort of apply new techniques like CRISPR and gene editing to uh, samples in the laboratory, and again, really try and understand what's going on there. Um, there's also a very small research community in this area because it's been hard to get the samples because it's a, a disease that has a very sort of low survival rate. Um, researchers haven't been drawn to this area over the years. So again, with this new investment that we're making, we hope we can attract new research uh, teams to this area um, and really start to uh, build capacity in this field as well.